Hello, everybody. Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. All right. So Nick and Jess, man. Yeah. Um. I I, I kind of feel like we've we've got to get. We're at the end of the season ish. Um. We got to get to a point where they're cool being friends after their breakup. Obviously, not there yet. Yeah. Um, you know, in the real world, there could not be a worse situation than having to still share an apartment with somebody that you've broken up with. I couldn't do it. No. Absolutely not. I'd be like, I'm gonna find an Airbnb. Because you, yeah, you, you you've got to deal with that. Then you've got to deal with how your friends handle it. And do we split up friends? And you know, sure. it's almost like custody battles with, with with your mutual friends. That's. I think we're gonna get a lot of fun with that. Right. Um, it is interesting though that they were kept saying, "I miss my friend. I miss right. my friend." It's like there was too much pressure they put on themselves to be sure. in a relationship. Um, well, I also think that they're still a little bit juvenile to the point where they can't, yeah. you know, y- you have to do both. <laughs> sure. You have to be, yeah. you have to be friends with your partner. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that their inability to really make that happen mm-hmm. is ultimately what did a man like, I, I think they're a great couple yeah. and I want to see them get back together, but you have to figure out how to balance both. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, like the, let's move in together when you already <laughs> live in the same apartment. Like, so it was so dumb. We're yeah. also going to cram into the same room, all of our stuff, and like uh-huh. always be stuck together 24 yeah. 7. That's not healthy. And that's. By the time you guys are watching this, that that's the episode that I just put up on YouTube mm-hmm. was the was the sister. I think it was the third sister. Right. And that story arc was so frustrating, not only because we had Abby, but because Nick and Jess couldn't figure this out. You know. Right. And the, the idea that Jess was insecure about Abby and and Schmidt's relationship, kind of, which by the way yeah. was obviously not a real relationship, no. and and put her, and it was like, oh, this is what I need to be doing. Yeah. It's like, do you do you really think that that level of insecurity mm-hmm. and 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 neediness and codependence is what you need i think not yeah i'm hoping because this show has done really great with arcs you know i'm hoping the characters continue to grow because they have since season one yes, like a lot For especially sure. nick i feel like <laughs> um but I, I feel like we get to a point where that level of codependence isn't necessary for them to realize they can be in a healthy romantic relationship with each I, other i would like that i yeah, want to see them back together eventually right know? i don't but how you, long that takes who knows you know yeah with them breaking up you have all kinds of hijinks possible new boyfriends new, new girlfriends. boyfriends new girlfriends right which is what we want and i also want to see for um, and again i'm glad that we're getting uh, an actual storyline for winston that, yeah. that that doesn't involve all the other characters like him being a support yeah. a supporting player in all of their lives i want to see he gets his own account. exactly <laughs> he gets his own storyline of something he's chasing himself which he doesn't get enough of that's too great all right let's go ahead and jump into it guys i do want to thank all of our patreon subscribers for being here with us i want to give a special shout out to actuarial lurker balas Voldes, chris jeff christy Gaverston, nj Sonia gundavarapu weird magic toy here lingstad emily Derek peterson and where panda 47 thanks so much guys we're very glad you're here with us yes we are and if you're watching this on youtube for the first time welcome to our channel if you mind hit the like button for us please leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we have coming your way if you would like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or currently watching please check out the link in the description below our patreon page on every show including new girl we're at least four episodes ahead on patreon of where on youtube so if you do want to get keep going you will have to sync and watch along your own materials there on our patreon page also like in 30 rock it's a patreon exclusive good show patreon subscribers Welcome back, friends. Yeah, good. That's what it looks like. 22 and 23. Okay. Is it around 24? Oh, maybe it is 24. Anyway, uh, last season was 25. We're oh, going wow. to jump into episode 22 here in 3, 2, 1. Love is forever, ever, ever. And how many and evers? Technically infinity. Foster said we couldn't afford it. But it really stuck my neck out for this dance. No, I, I mean because the theme of the dance is love is forever. Nick and the breakup. I don't think I would let sponsoring a high school dance really interfere with my personal life that much. No. <laughs> no. I want them to have an incredible time. My life is a bit of a mess right now. But the one thing I can do is throw an amazing dance. Just you poor thing. Come, come here. What? Come here. Yeah. Just, there you go. What are you doing? Uh huh. My arms are so sore. They're doing so many push ups. That seems like a lie. No, I'm trying to stay fit after the breakup. I've been eating salad. I genuinely miss goofing around with Jess. Breakups aren't supposed to be easy. So we're we're not allowed to be in a room alone together without Winston, because mm-hmm. he just naturally takes the sexual tension out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you guys want? <laughs> Why does my sweat smell like asparagus? He does take Ew. all the sexual tension out of the room. Man, I heat up mm-hmm. every room I walk into. Congrats, chaperones. With your help tonight is going to be unforgettable. In attractive hat that I made, they say chaperones. <laughs> 
and Gary the janitor has one that this cleanup crew. I'm gonna say we're done. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, thanks guys. Good, good meeting. You don't have to wear that coat. As far as I'm concerned, the stand starts now. Those kids won't get away with anything. If they want to bang, they're gonna have to bang through me. Wait. You going to the dance tonight? My mom's making me go. Making you go to the best night of your life? Your mom sounds really cool. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Uh, check this out. Cece's boyfriend is so young that... <laughs> Wearing a proper hanging pair of slacks. Ordering sushi like a sick-ass boss. These things a man making. So stupid stuff that you do. Cece's boyfriend is so young that... How, how, how young hey, is Winston. he? Winston! Why is the door locked? The dance starts in five minutes. Don't tell me I wore my raw denim for no reason. Don't you dare tell me that! <laughs> It's just Oliver Chaperone's just failed. He needs help. Is that a job for a boy you. or a man? Man! 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 This is going to be so weird if they're there at the dance. These guys. Well, a tire iron is actually strong enough to break through a high carbon steel steering wheel lock. So, you know, I figured I'd work with this. Yes! There we go. Now we're cooking. Yes! Back. Everything back on track, guys. Hey, listen up. Chaperones, you will obey all of my instructions. This means everything to Jax. Do you think you are tough, Winston? You have no idea what these little bastards are capable of, but they will hurt your feelings sometimes. Schmidt, you're on snack table duty. Keep the chip bowls full. Don't let the kids spike the punch and make sure diabetic Amy only has four cookies. Diabetic so concern. at least two or she'll pass out. Winston. Yes, sir. Dance floor drip. Ooh, you should have said that. Man, that is the perfect place for me right now. I got so much heat coming off me, no, man. No, 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 no. Six inches separation at all times. Nobody's getting pregnant tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Nick. Uh, you're not chaperone material. I put you in the parking lot to sweep the stragglers. You saw me on the streets. It's not that important of a job. I don't like stuff. I see the heat moving. You gotta move. Okay, no heat, no heat. You go away, baby. I fix the day. What are you looking at? Cool mustache. <laughs> Too much heat. Leave me alone, okay. flamer. Whoa. Oh. You're the, you're the flamer, pal. You're the flamer. You're the flamer. I got a bit of a situation here. Um, thoughts, advice. Uh... What now? Someone's trying to mess with my dance. Uh, paste. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. You ruined my dance! I can smell the paint! Number one, you tell us why you ruined the paint. Number two, I bash your skull in with a carburetor! I didn't do any of that. Why would anybody want to ruin such a magical night? <laughs> Can we come back inside? It's just, we're not doing anything. We didn't get chaperone. You're really not a chaperone? Let us take it for what it is. <laughs> Super intense. <laughs> Sorry, I spit some of it up. It's cool. I just, just wanted to apologize for what happened before, kiddo. What, are you gonna propose to me now? <laughs> Become a man. Well, you smell like a woman. That's it, enough is enough with you! 15 minutes, parking lot. Fist fight? Foot race. Oh, <laughs> you guys are multiplying like bunnies. <laughs> That's weird. We should lock all the doors. No one gets in, no one gets out. The culprit's inside. It's frickin' Gosford Park. You need to c calm down a little, Jess. Our kids do no homework in there. It's bleak. Jump, 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 uh. jump, 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 Oh, that's a sugar rush, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm good. He ain't a wrong too dumb. Like now! Oh, oh, you never oh, oh, too close. Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh my god! Let's ride. Oh, hell yeah! Busted. Yeah. You really did come prepared, weren't you? Wrench? And glue? So you really didn't want the dance to happen? None of the boys want to dance with me. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't think I'm ever going to dance with the boys. Listen, are boys dumb? Yes. And it's all worth it. And that's why you have to try. 
Are you talking about sex or dancing? Dancing. dancing. Oh, God. Dancing. 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 We're talking Upright about dancing. dancing. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. This dance is not over. You just need to find some stupid boys. You're so fast and you're so old. You're so much like a, like a turtle. It's crazy to me. Are we going to do this or what? Oh, yeah. We're going to do this. Two, three. Flojo! <laughs> dog would be better than you. A plant wearing underwear would be better than you. What kind of men are you? Stupid boys. We need ya. Who's ready to have a good time? Please give a big Coolidge Middle School welcome to the dumbest boys in school. <laughs> okay, Coolidge, get ready to hit the dance floor in three, two, one. Woo! Oh, yeah, all right. Don't wear indigo, I don't wear teal. You better look out, you know that's why, that's right, that's because Schmidt is for real. Mmm. When I say sometimes, you say teal. Sometimes, teal. sometimes, teal. sometimes, teal. mic drop. <laughs> Unless I get signed to a desk, which is also vital because when paperwork slides, that's how you get a mistrial. When I say miss, <laughs> you say trial. Miss, trial. I say miss unless you trying to die. What are you not? You know who you are. Thank you all very much. I'm just saying, they Thank you. Light. Good idea, Tom. Well, but you also gotta die. Ow. Ow. Uh, that was delightful, but. A nice reminder again that ultimately, deep down, children, they're children. children. They're yeah. still the, the Arrested Development stage is still very real. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I, I did like the scene with uh, Wendy, Jess, and Cece. Very sweet. No, it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was that was an important scene for the for, uh, for a girl who's obviously struggling socially. For sure. Um, but we have to learn consequences. <laughs> yeah, you, you you can't just get away with that. It's so expensive. <laughs> oh, the damage God, she caused. That's a lot of damage. The padlock. Okay. I remember when I was in high school, there was a kid that pulled the fire alarm, uh -huh. and he got he had to get to pay for it. Like really? The, yeah, because the fire department charges they come out on a fake call. That sucks. So I mean, he, yeah. he so the school yeah the school didn't pay for it. He had to. I've never done I've never done that. No, 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 I don't think anybody in my school ever did that. Does has done it either? I mean, there's obviously that intrusive thought where you right. walk by it, you're like, well, this is right. like nobody. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that unless there's an actual fire. The closest thing we ever did is, you know, like at schools, how they have like the uh, the light switches. They have to have like a key to do it. Right. Yeah. We figured out if you stupidly so don't do this. If you shove a key in there, it'll work. So oh, yeah. if it was for the men's restroom, so if our friends were in there, we would just gotcha. Yeah. But uh, that's the closest we ever done to doing a prank at the school. Don't mess with school property. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. It's nice. I'm pretty sure most schools now have hallway cameras everywhere. Everywhere. You're, you're, yeah, gonna, you're get, gonna get caught. You're gonna get caught. And <laughs> we we you, got caught for that. And you're gonna look dumb when you do. Yeah. For sure. Um. But no, this is really fun. I mean, obviously we're watching 1015 the channel, so to see. More yeah, I was, I was thinking about nice. that a lot while we were watching it. Yeah, yeah it, it's a nice parallel. Um, and also, you know, it, it's, it is, we talked about it in the beginning, obviously, everybody becoming friends again. Right. This was a good episode for that. Yeah. Well, and it, it, I like the fact that it was a little bit of a misdirect because I was expecting the way that it's set up at the beginning. You know, Jess is having to do this dance and she's yeah. still heartbroken. And so this is going to be her kind of suffering through that. And they really didn't go that direction. She Not was really. actually fine. Yeah. I mean, she was, she, you know, she was emotional a little, a little bit, but not like comically so she or over the top. Herself. She handled herself yeah. just fine. Um, it was the three boys that, and I say boys, um, <laughs> that, that that really dropped the ball as far as like it, it being emotionally able to handle anything. A middle school dance chaperone gig. Um, so you know, I, I I expected Jess to be the one kind of a, that, that spun out a little bit, sure. and she didn't. And it might Nick be Nick spun out hard. It might be Nick that, right. that, that does that, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. This, I think this this episode is an indicator of where this show is going to go. Sure. Uh, handling their relationship and their feelings, you know? Maybe Jess will have a moment or an episode where she is hurting. Yeah. But um, I think that, yeah, I think going forward, we're going to kind of get a, dyna a dynamic kind of similar to this. Right. It kind of reminds me of when we were watching Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Well, um, one of the things I loved about the show is 
there would always be like I'm on the right path, but then I would regress, right? Yeah, I, I would make a mistake. Back, I would get inside my head and go yep. backwards, and then have to work back because that's very realistic. And that yeah. show handled that so well. And I feel like we have the, the the potential for that here. Like we're friends, we're doing better, and then you get in your head for the wrong second at the wrong time, yeah. and you just spiral. It's like, well, now I'm not okay. Now we're not friends because I, I guess I'm still not over as, as much as I need to be. Which I expect. I think that will happen right, for eventually, sure. but I don't. I don't know when. If it's before the season or in season four. It yeah. makes more sense for this season, I feel like, yeah. because if we're dealing with that in season four, it'll take away from whatever storyline. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we're going to kind of wrap it up before season four, so that season four can have their own story sure. storylines well, that happen. Yeah. With 25 episodes, which is a ton of episodes. I mean, yeah, that was two, but... Three left, yeah. yeah. I think it was 23 in season one and 25 in season two. Mm, okay. So it could be anything. They sure. can... Whatever they felt like doing. We don't keep track. We're, right. we're long for the ride. Yeah, we are. All right, we'll catch you next one, guys. See ya.